Hello, it's Oz here from Learn, Play to Earn, and today we're going to be doing a quick go, quick summary of gameplay and earning for the game Star Atlas. Um, and I am going to be very brief because the more research I was doing into this just for this, this quick summary, I was finding so much there is a lot to talk about, um, both with the game and the gameplay, like the released information so far, as well as the tokens, and there is the Polis and Atlas tokens. So what I'll do in this video is try to be as quick and concise as possible no rambling not going too deep into any one area we'll just do a quick rundown and uh, if you want to know more information about star atlas or its gameplay or its two tokens um, then let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button comment down below and now let me know you want to see more of anything because i could easily do a video just going over all the little bits of gameplay released in the white papers um, as well as the two tokens there's a lot of information about how they work and how they'll be implemented in the game but anyway enough about that forgive me for the quick talking because i'm going to be trying to go as fast as possible um and let's cover star atlas um and i'll also include timestamps too just so you can jump around to whatever you want to know if there is something in particular you, you want without having to listen to it all anyway let's get into it so what we're going to cover so should you invest so first we'll talk about the game itself so what does gameplay look like and the many ways to earn in game so either passively or actively um we're going to then talk about the atlas token i'll touch a little bit on the polis token but i don't focus on that too much because that will make a longer video so this is just a, a little touch on it but you can also buy the polis token which is kind of the governance token but we'll get into that um we'll talk about the price history of the atlas coin and where you can buy it and then finally, conclusions. What I think of the project, what I think of the game, what I think of uh, investing your time and money into the tokens or the gameplay itself. So first, I'll show you what gameplay looks like. So here it is here. <laughs> it's it's uh, being kind of told that this is or promoted as gameplay, but uh, it's hard to tell because um, this game is built on the Unreal 5 Nanite engine. So it is kind of hard to know what's a cutscene and what's gameplay. But from what I know of games, I'd say like, especially like this kind of part, 90% of this at least would be get, uh, would be like a, just a cutscene, not the gameplay. But this is what they're calling gameplay when releasing it. Um, and while this is playing in the background, I'll just kind of give you a quick general overview of what is Star Atlas. So it is a virtual gaming metaverse based in the year 2620. In this distant future, three major factions have emerged. We got the Mud Territory, which is governed by humans. The Oni region is a collection of alien races, just a mixed bag. And then the Uster sector, which is controlled by sentient androids. Um, these factions are in an ongoing struggle for resources, territorial conquest, and political domination. You play as a citizen of one of these factions within Star Atlas, and you would have the ability to influence the outcome of this intergalactic conflict while creating the opportunity to earn rewards for your contributions. Now, as I mentioned, this is built on the Unreal 5 Nanite engine, and my favorite part, and why I'm particularly excited about this game, is that it's all built on the Solana blockchain. So, the trading and transfer fees will be low enough for even small casual daily trades to be profitable, as most games until now, and even including this year, have been built on the Ethereum blockchain, which is much slower and the transfer fees are so high it's usually not worth buying or selling something unless the profit margin was huge. Now, um, I'll quickly talk about some of the gameplay features very fast. I got a marketplace, um, so you can buy and sell your resources uh, and services in the Star Atlas marketplace, both in and outside the game, and the in-game currency, like I mentioned before, is the Atlas coin. So let's jump into productivity and how to earn. So there's two ways, um, idle staking, and there's also the game includes like expenses and things like that, which you gotta take into account. So you can buy and sell land, spaceships, space stations, power plants, planets, and resources. There are so many different methods of earning Atlas coin, either active or passive. Uh, idle staking in safe zones for pass massive, sorry, passive, passive, massive portfolio growth. 
uh, more active earning away from safe zones in the form of bounty hunting and trading etc uh, but i'll go into more detail when getting into that um, idle incomes will come in the form of mining government governance and crafting which has been so far announced i'm sure more will come um and also expenses that you'll have to pay as you go uh expenses can include ship ship storage fees refining fees repair and jump travel point fees um you'll also have to keep your fleet supplied with fuel food ammunition and toolkits to maintain their productivity Now for active um, earning ways, there is um, Explore and Conquer. So you can expand into space and be rewarded for your efforts. So the deeper you go into space, the higher the difficulty and risk, but the higher the reward. So there will be zones with differing levels of safety. Uh, combat is currently allowed, but your assets will be reset if your ship's destroyed. So nothing will be lost. Um, so it's nice and safe. You can fight without any repercussions. Uh, but there'll be final distant zones of Star Atlas where full combat and the destruction of assets will be a permanent event, which is terrifying, but I'm sure high, re high reward. Uh, winners will then be able to salvage the scrap components and crew members when successful. So maybe if you're feeling a little bit unbeatable or else you're ready to quit the game and you don't want to sell the assets, you want to go down in a blaze of glory, then that's where you go to risk all, all or nothing kind of, kind of fights. Um, and now also one thing I would just wanted to squeeze in is that this game is open world so all, and not just in normal sense all visible stars that you can see in the game are real assets and actual locations that can be visited the kind of think of uh, No Man's Sky where it's almost the universe is almost infinite not quite going to be infinite unless it gets really popular and I have to keep creating new assets new places but uh otherwise it's still massive if, if you can see a star in the sky you can go there which is which is crazy and uh on the, the while talking about um active earning I just wanted to also point out the profession so you know I said I didn't want to go too deep this is uh one area which which I just wanted to mention because it's insane so there are a lot of uh, professional roles you can have in this game. Um, so I'll just paraphrase from the white pages, but they can, um, the professional roles can manifest in their chosen ship roles. Players can earn in game by having the correct ships, crews and components for their desired roles. So that can include, and you're probably reading them yourself, but uh, transport, rescue, freight, repair, construction, refueling, miner, salvage, entrepreneur, CEO, broker, bounty hunter, pirate, smuggler, or captain. There's, there's, I only just touched the tip of, of all those professions. So there's a lot you can do in this game, a lot of different ways uh, you can customize your gameplay and, and maybe make it add to the replay playability of the game by like every time you you play it you just kind of change your ship up try a different role see how you earn money that way it, it, there'll be a lot to it it's very exciting now um other ways you can earn money just by having assets or particular assets can earn passive income for you so salvage wars so you can bid on containers of salvaged assets so you don't have to go out there and blow up the ships and get these assets themselves you just need to bid on the assets and hope they're going to be something valuable enough for you to be making a profit so that's why i've going kind of think of um that tv show american tv show where they buy buy different little garages and they open them up and uh, I've, I've ruined this but they open them up and they're hoping that it's worth something valuable exactly the same as this but uh, a star atlas version um now I, I try not to ramble so i apologize for that rambling now uh space stations you can buy space sta space stations can be built to protect mining claims they start off at the same all the same but being can be enhanced in form of decks so different de decks will add different functionality of that space station um and also holders of polis so that's that governance token i mentioned before um you earn that by staking atlas coins um or you can just straight up buy it at the moment i don't know if you'll always be able to buy them but you can currently um you can buy them i think from ftx and a few radium a few places like that uh, but i'll get into that when i talk about the coins later on um but holders of polis will be in a unique position of jurisdictional jurisdictional ownership over entire regions regardless regardless of who owns the title which is an nft 
uh, to the land and equipment rights, these players will be able to restrict some of the activity that can occur while under their oversight. Uh, they can impose taxes on other players, so passive income, uh, they can change charge tolls and otherwise create a separate set of laws or that area um, with which other players must observe. Um, however, polis represents voting rights, not dictational ownership. So you can't set hard and fast rules that everyone has to obey. It's you get the ability to vote towards rules for that particular area. And if it gets enough votes, then that's how it kind of goes. So it's kind of like real life. Different different areas, different states have different rules. And you got to abide by those rules. Well, this game is kind of doing the same thing. It's great. It's mixing things up. It will make it the game more exciting where you might go to one sector of space and there'll be some holes for entering the space and crazy, really expensive, I don't know, uh, docking fees or things like that. But maybe it'll be worth it. Maybe that area will be so wealthy um, or have like really rare items that you're willing to pay those extra fees um, just to get there. So it's cool. It's cool. It's kind of making its own economy. So I love it. Uh, now let's keep moving. So uh, let's talk about Star Atlas coins. Um, should you invest? So we'll talk about price history, where to buy, and um, I'll also touch upon the Polis token. Now let's quickly jump over to Coin Market Cap just to have a look at the Atlas token. So um, the current price is for $0.43 US dollars, I believe this is in. Yep, US dollars. Um, it currently has a market cap of 93 million, uh, fully diluted market cap. So what is that? That's uh, the max supply if all of it was um, available is uh, 1 billion, 558 million, 265, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so it's a lot of coins. And then uh, the current circulating supply is only 6%. So there's a lot to go still. Um, now, as I mentioned before, the, the price was only 4 cents. So four, yeah, we'll stick with 4 cents. Um, it has gone as high as 25 cents per coin, a little bit higher than that. And it's currently 4 cents per coin. So it's not quite its lowest. It's very, very close to its lowest. Um, but only by a fraction of a cent. So now would be a good time to buy, uh, not financial advice, just in my opinion. If I had, if I wasn't so dirt poor, <laughs> I would be buying some right now. There's also the Polis coin too, which is uh, available to be bought. I'll quickly show you that while I am here before we jump around too much. Here we are. So this is like I mentioned the governance coin um, and you would usually earn this by staking and again the price has gone down. We don't want the one day price. Yeah the price is at I'd say an all time low. Yeah currently an all time low for the so this is probably going to be the rarer of the coins. Uh, let's have a quick look at its distribution. So it may be harder to get. Oh we wanted the end. This is... doesn't have as much information as the other one okay oh wow well the, yeah the polis coin it hasn't really yeah had as much information really so we can't see what its distribution is but there is other ways we can find that out but anyway now let's jump over to soul scan just to see the distribution how it has gone so far if we got any whales and yes we currently have one holder i think only six percent of um the tokens have been released to the public so this person owns 62 percent of the six percent released um and then another few big whales here only 103,000 people have uh, atlas coins at the moment which is not much um and a lot of it i believe is um and i don't know what that means now let's have a very fast look at the token itself so we're over at coin market cap it's a great place just to get a lot of general information about a coin uh the current price is four four cents for we'll just say four cents 4.3 cents us cents um let's have a look down here so the market cap is 93 million uh the fully diluted market cap like once all the coins coins are in circulation is 1 billion 558 so we've got a long way to go only six percent of um circulating supply has been released so far so that's not much we've got a long way to go um and now the, yeah, the price has gone oh this is a one day view we don't want this here we go so this is all time since the coin has been released um it has gone up as high as 26 cents when it was released 
per token and now if you wanted to buy one it is worth four sets uh almost the lowest i think it went low i think it went 4.1 there we go 4.1 cents uh versus now it's just 4.3 so almost the all-time low there's only only green above really the odds of it going up versus the odds of it going down um it's in favor of it going up more uh so if i wasn't so dirt poor i'd probably buy more because sooner or later as it gets closer to release date i feel uh, the hype would start to build more people would buy some and the price would go up but who knows how high and who knows there's a lot of risks involved anyway i'll get to that at the end it's very hard not to go off topic with this um, now let's look at the token distribution is that uh, okay it's not too bad rewards in the mission is only 65% uh, the team only gets 5% which is nice which is fair uh, we got private sales 22% private oh, not worry public pre-sale oh we can just read over here uh public token sales only two percent listing and liquidity pools which i don't know what that is uh is four percent so yeah not too bad pretty balanced it's not like the team is getting 90 percent of them like i've seen in some others now let's quickly jump over to um soul scan just to see the distribution what is currently out so i think i mentioned only six percent of the tokens have been released so far wow uh this this wallet is holding 62 percent of the six percent released so they're doing pretty well there's a few other whales or mini whales 14 percent that guy has it's very early days though all like all it takes is something to invest especially now what the price is so low someone could just invest a bit of money and um i don't know chuck a million dollars in there and and do very well let's quickly look at uh holders i just want to see how much some of that's worth um so this is their address holding the 62 percent and i don't know if this is accurate but apparently that is currently worth 692 million and i'm assuming this is us dollars by default so oh, i don't know if that's accurate because the price is very low at the moment too imagine if the price was normal uh but i'm gonna ignore that because i don't know how accurate that is that is insane money maybe that's um the pool where they're holding all the um un un unprovided un undistributed there we go uh tokens who knows but that is a lot that is huge um, okay, one other thing we want to look at is the TVL, the total value locked. Oh, why am I typing that? And I have a feeling I've looked before, and yeah, it is not there. So almost every other token will do a uh, maxi. I think it's AXS. Is it not? Let's look at uh, another token. Let's just do Solana too. There we go. Um, it's which mentioned the TVL there, but um, yeah, there is no TVL released for uh star atlas at the moment which it's not the hugest red flag either uh ever um i did see an interview where it was talked about how it isn't kind of published on all these forums yet but it is mentioned on twitter uh i don't think but now yeah on twitter um they do release it roughly about once a month they do mention the tvl um so yeah it is it's not uh, published on these kind of places easy to find but if you follow them on twitter you can see uh the problem is when they're releasing it and keeping those kind of figures in house it does make it a little bit easier for them to 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 change them themselves because we're gonna have to go off their word but um it's not the biggest red flag ever and i was just thinking about that tvl thing so i thought i'd quickly check out twitter and had a search and here it is here so they do release it roughly every month um here's another one down there which one's better it will go this one this one's even better um so yeah here we go so total value lock was 86 million um as of what date as of december the 24th so christmas eve 2021 so yeah it is released it just seems to only be on twitter which like i said it's not the not the biggest deal that we can't see it um, and one other thing I forgot to mention almost was where to get Atlas. So uh, I believe it all is all down here. Yeah, so uh, FTX, you can get it there. Gate.io, Kraken, or Radium. That's why I did I just swapped. Um, you go into Radium and you can, maybe I can access it this way. Let me get there. Let's quickly show you in case you don't know. Uh, but yeah, jump into Radium, connect your Phantom Wallet to it, and then... Um, App. let's see if we'll quickly do it this way i'm going off topic see why this is hard for me to um oh, it's not working um <laughs> i think it doesn't like this browser oh no there we go and then you uh, attach your wallet and then you simply just swap your solana which you have in your wallet 
go to atlas coin this is very simple this is like there might be other methods of doing it but i kind of use radium whenever i can because even though my internet is fairly slow today um this is very straightforward so if your wallet was connected you'd simply put how much solana you wanted to trade for how much atlas coin uh then you'd usually click go i can't remember my password otherwise i'd do this for you now um and yeah then it just simply just does it you just buy it it's as simple as that like one click so um yeah you can buy it through radium or a few other places Okay, so we're finished with the tokens. Now, my final notes, my final conclusions. Uh, let's talk about the positives. So first of all, uh, Star Atlas is kind of like the first or second, uh, depends when it's released, but currently the first or second big AAA budget uh, play to earn game being released or being promoted. Uh, so hopefully it will be the first, could be the second. Um, and, and that's going to kind of create some publicity, create some news get a bit of uh, attention on it uh, because it's one of the first um, so think of uh, Axie Infinity so that currently has over 2 million monthly players and that's now in 2000 early 2022 when play to earn games are pretty unknown niche genre so imagine the player base if Star Atlas was released and because of its AAA graphics and open world gameplay it attracted more mainstream players even if it attracted just a fraction of the players from games like Overwatch which has like I think nine or ten million monthly players um that would really blow the value of atlas and polis coin out of the water um so i think axis coin just for comparison um the axis infinity coin uh, was about 20 cents per token at the beginning of 2021 i believe and then about halfway through 2021 i think around june that's when it started getting popular started kind of getting hitting the headlines and it went up to 150 uh, currently is about 150 us dollars per token so that's from 20 cents per token to 150 dollars per token so same thing or something similar could happen to the atlas coin um if the game takes off uh now also uh play to earn will be more mainstream eventually now there are different methods for earning so um some of that could be like the passive and active game earning methods so um it just would help prevent stagnation and keep the player base active so imagine uh like many games that you'd play the main game maybe be a trader bounty hunter you, you saw all those professions there was a lot of them um but then once you grew bored of the game which one day you may um you can instead set your players with all of its earned assets for passive mining or hopefully it'll be a system where actually like axie infinity where you can rent out your ship um, to others for passive income so due to the passive and active methods of income it will make it hard to ever leave the game once you're invested in time into it uh, this will keep the game alive longer and prevent it from fizzling out due to popularity uh, also the open space theme with the ability to go to every star you see that still blows my mind um and also the theme will allow for many scripted events and encounters to to keep making players coming back again and again for those rare event nfts um so yeah a huge replayability possibilities uh, with that big active universe now let's go on to some of the downsides so um not the biggest deal in the world but that tvl data thing was a bit weird that we couldn't find it wasn't uh promoted easily only on twitter and kept in house um the current release date which i don't know if i i may have rushed and missed that but they did say it was going to be released in 2022 which seems unrealistic since they haven't even shown us any gameplay yet and it's the first of its kind and it's so huge and open um like even at the moment they're, they're asking people on twitter what which um type of ships to be creating next uh so it just seems that it's a big far far stretch to be releasing in 2022 i'm thinking more like 2023 even 2024 depending on how things go but yeah it just seems no way will it be released this year um and also like all games uh especially play to earn games which haven't really taken off yet uh the the potential earning all rides on the gameplay once we actually see some gameplay and hype 
Um, so it's fairly high risk because uh, say if there's 10 other, um, I know Bethesda is releasing a space game. Ones if that game is better than Star Atlas, Star Atlas is released and no one even cares because there's a better game released that month. There's lots of things like that which could impact the value. Um, and also, yeah, once we've seen gameplay, it could suck. The graphics could be horrible. It could be um, rubbish. It could just be a cash grab. So, yeah, early days, still lots of things to be released before we can uh, get our hopes up. But um, it, it does seem good. Like, when I do finally sell my horse or <laughs> get some money, um, I will probably invest a little bit in Polis coin, I think. Maybe. Not financial advice. That's probably what I'm planning on doing. But anyway guys i hope you found that valuable uh thank you all for watching please like and subscribe if you want to make sure you don't miss out on any future videos or if you like this video let me know by clicking that i do intend to do a deeper dive into star atlas where i don't have to talk so insanely fast um and and also the tokens as well uh let me know in the comments if you want to see that uh either way let me know anything you like in the comments and i'll, I'll try to respond i'm pretty good um but otherwise guys thanks for watching have a great week take care of yourself and i will catch you next time